wiring harnesses and connectors are vulnerable to abrasion, stress, and corrosion. Replacing a wiring harness can be very expensive and time-consuming. This video will demonstrate how to correctly repair a damaged wire using the PowerProbe MicroTorch. We'll also show you how to protect your repair from weather and other elements using heat shrink insulation. Let's get started. First, locate the damaged area. Cut and remove the damaged wire. If you need to replace a length of wire, be sure to match the gauge size of the original wire. To prepare the wire for soldering, strip approximately 3 quarter to an inch of the insulation from the ends of the wires. Now, locate the correct size heat shrink tubing and slip it over the wire. If you're replacing a section of the wire, as we're doing here, make sure to add heat shrink tubing on both ends of the repair before you splice and solder. Bend the wire ends about 90 degrees in the middle of the exposed wire. Overlap the two wire ends until they hook over each other. Then twist the ends in opposite directions to wrap around the wire. Never rely solely on the solder to hold the wires together. It's important to have a clean and solid mechanical connection before soldering. We'll be using the standard solder tip attachment for this repair. Once the torch is warmed up, clean and tin the solder tip. Use only rosin core solder when soldering wires. The rosin flux serves to deoxidize the wire so it will penetrate and flow. Apply heat to the splice and hold it there. After a few seconds, apply solder to the joint. When the wire's hot enough, the solder should melt and flow nicely between the wire strands. Once you have enough solder on the joint, remove the heat and let the solder cool and harden before moving the wire. We now have a good, strong, soldered connection, but still need to protect the exposed wire from the elements to prevent corrosion. Use the heat shield accessory in the MicroTorch kit to shrink the insulation and protect the neighboring wires. We slipped this on earlier before we spliced the wires together. Heat the shrink tube until you begin to see the inner sealant oozing from the tubing ends. Now that's a properly repaired wire. 